welcome back. Today we're going to talk about inflammation. And the reason why I want to share this is because this has made such a difference on my symptoms and my day to day. So please, just for the heck of it, go back a few videos or from January type frame and look at my face and just go scroll through the thumbnails and look at the difference on this part of my face. And I know I have lost a little bit of weight, not that much, but you can see visually when I am inflamed versus when I am not inflamed. And the funny thing is, you know, like I told my neurologist, like, I feel inflamed. I tell every doctor I feel inflamed and they're like, whatever. Um, I do have very high inflammatory cytokines, so I know I am dealing with inflammation. But my, my main thing is the head. And what have made such a big difference for me is one, I feel the inflammation in the head, but I also know that I was dealing with a lot of inflammation in my tummy. And when I would touch it, it felt kind of not pain, but I could feel the existence. I don't know how to say like present is there. So it was kind of like a very dull, um, uncomfortable feeling when you press. So kind of like the joint pain that you have when you press it, you feel it. Um, so it's not like a sharp pain, but you know, it's there. So I always had that in my column and in my tummy and I could feel it and in my head. And I was doing a few things wrong that I want to share with you because when you do lower the inflammation, the CFS symptoms just take a turn for the better. And I have failed some progress in my disease since I got the inflammation under control. One of the things that I was doing that was very bad for you was eating constantly. I don't do well on the, like, you know, on the glucose system. But the other thing is that, um, I'll do a separate video on that, but I have some struggle with my digestive system. And let's say that I would start eating and then I can't eat, then I will stop. Then I will try again, then I will stop, and then I will try again, and then kind of nibble here and there, and I was eating constantly. And that wasn't helping my inflammation situation. So that's one thing that I corrected. So now I have an eating window where I do force myself to eat within that window. But once I hit certain time, I don't eat anymore. So I'm trying to do 16 to 18 hours without eating, and that has helped tremendously to give the God some time to heal. I am trying to work myself into some fast of 24 hours because that's supposed to regenerate your tummy and see if that helps a lot. But I, you know, I'm working my fasting muscle and I am not there yet. So I keep breaking the, the ketogenic diet, which I'm not gonna do anymore. I'm way too happy. Um, the reason why I did it was to load hormones and I was losing my hair anyways. Um, so that was one thing that I was doing wrong that I corrected. Another thing was the sugar. Sugar is very inflammatory and I have not been without, okay? I have found er erythritol, I have found stevia, I have found mock fruit. Um, I don't go without. If you tell me, oh, you're eating less sweet. No, I'm not. I, I just changed the type of sugar I was using. Was it kind of weird to get used to the flavor at first, especially stevia? Yeah, but now I don't care. So what is funny is that even when I break my diet, I do my coffee with stevia because I'm so used to it that that's what I do now, uh, unless I do the pocket of hot chocolate, but um, which I'm not gonna do anymore if you saw my previous video, but you see what I'm saying? It's amazing. So the other thing that um, was not helping me inflammation wise was colitis. And this is so interesting because if you do Google, there's reactive arthritis with Crohn's and colitis. But when I did mention this to my God doctor, they're like, that's impossible. And I was like, I am not crazy. Every time I get a colitis flare, I get a very 
um, joint pain and very they're like no that's impossible so here we are but I am 100% sure I don't care what she says I did google it and it's there and it is a hundred percent of the time that I do get a flare I get pain so I have learned to avoid flaring my colitis and that has helped my inflammation overall in my body much better and the pain to be more under control um, I have tried to avoid inflammatory foods and that's another thing I am not per se right now gluten-free um, altogether but I do try to avoid it more and be more judicious about it so I try to balance my meal if I'm eating let's say a scrambled egg sausage coffee all that is very inflammatory so I make an effort to say okay I'm gonna eat avocado I'm gonna eat greens and I'm gonna put coconut cream on the coffee so I try to balance in each meal whether I'm acidic versus um, I have some acidic cushion type of meals so when I am done with the meal I do not want to have more acidity than not um, so do you remember back in the day also that I told you that I was um, doing uh, 12 in a year new healthy habits so that's what I've also been working on and has worked wonders on my inflammation um, I know they say put a little bit of um, lemon also on your water so I'm doing that when I feel I need to balance some more um, but those are the little things I've been doing to balance more my body to a more alkaline state and this you know it just try it just put you know try it forget and and let me tell you things are up it's amazing like i said before if you do every you know a little thing and a little thing how it sets up but in keeping yourself alkaline is one of the best thing you can do for your health in general let alone to feel better with cfs so I hope this is helpful. It's a very, very hard concept for me at first because I knew I was inflamed, but I didn't know how to deal with it. So I wish that I understood how to balance myself and how to trick the meals and how to do certain things and avoid the really high inflammatory foods to, um, to balance myself more and, and look at the difference. You can, I mean, you can see it in my face. Um, I hope you can see it go go through the uh, through the thumbnails and you see what I'm talking about because there's some days where my eyes are very puffy and my face is really puffy so whatever I'm doing is working and I hope it works for you too thank you so much for watching and if you haven't please subscribe and rest well